Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Thanks for joining me again for another episode. As you know, it's all brought to you in association with betting.co.uk. And I'm just back with some selections for you for today's jumps action over at Worcester. There's six races to get stuck into at Worcester, and I've got a selection in five of them. I did actually have one from each race, but chess player has been made a non-runner this morning. So it's five selections for you today at Worcester. And I do just advise these ones all as singles only. I will be back, as I said, with the lucky 15s and the lucky 31s in the next coming weeks. But for now, I've got five singles for you to get stuck into at Worcester. And we're going to go straight on into the action. We start in the 2.15 where we've got a novices chase over two miles, seven furlongs. Good ground for today at Worcester, which is definitely going to be quite significant. And the favourite here is a little bit of a talking horse at the moment, which is Mo Fassa for Paul Nichols. He recently joined Paul Nichols from Michael Scudamore. And actually had some pretty decent form over hurdles around two and a half miles. One in October at Cheltenham. And then capped off his season by trying the three-miler, uh, the grade one at Aintree. And did finish off, did finish off tailed off. But I do think the three miles was actually a little bit too much of a trip for him. So unlike most people, I'm actually quite concerned that he makes his chase debut here over just shy of three miles. But I do expect him to go well nonetheless. Broadway Boy is another one in here, just a five-year-old for the Twist and Davis team, but they are thriving at the moment. They've started this season really well, and I think he's going to be the big danger here. Probably going to take to fences really well indeed and show some pretty decent form as well coming into this season. But the one I'm going to take a chance on in the opener, it's going to be a horse called Coconut Splash, who's already got some chase form to his name. And don't get me wrong, he's a very ropey horse, a bit in and out of form, but he's been really well fancied in some big races at Cheltenham and also at Aintree, but all things have gone a little bit hazy. Wire. Now, he hasn't actually been tried on the faster surface before. A lot of his form comes on soft ground or good to soft. So it is a slight question mark, but I personally feel this good ground will actually suit him quite nicely. I think he's going to be able to bowl along in front, use his experience. And again, Mofasa and a Broadway boy are going to have to be really good on their chase debut if they're going to be an informed coconut splash. Coconut Splash is an eight-year-old, so he is taking on the younger horses, but we know there's a good engine in there somewhere. We have seen it before, and even though he's been a little bit in and out of form, that run um, at Utoxeter to end the season where he pulled up definitely wasn't necessarily his best runner, but we've seen him to better effect at the likes of Aintree and Cheltenham. And he actually went off quite a short price on New Year's Day at Cheltenham when Midnight River won for Dan Scout. So again, he's been competing in some really good races and providing he comes out in some pretty decent form today, I imagine coming here fresh, Coconut Splash is going to make a really bold bid for this race from the front. He is 5-1 to one as well against the two 6-4 to four joint favourite pair there. Then if we move to the 3.25, yesterday in my group chat, I did already put up Flying Fortune at 6-1. to one. She is now as short as 15-8, to eight, but this is a pretty decent race once again. The Twist and David team have got pushed the button in here, who at 9-1 to one I think is actually a little bit overpriced. Though. I didn't actually expect him to be quite so big in the market, but he actually won really nicely last time out. He did have to be ridden out to do so, but it just leaves him open to plenty of improvement this time out. First time out, shall I say, this season as well. Miles from Wicklow's an interesting horse from the scouting team plenty of runner-up efforts last season but i do fancy flying fortune here 15 to 8 now so the price is definitely gone she's the only filly in this field but she receives weight around from some uh average sort of looking gaudens to be honest in this race and i think she's going to go very well indeed she was only seven lengths behind Dysart Enos, who's a very talented mare for the Fergal O'Brien team at Market Raisin. Then she finished off her season by winning at Haydock on the good surface in a really good fashion. She went really easily, comfortable enough come the finishing line. And that form on the good ground, I think, is going to be quite significant for her. So, OK, she opened up at 6-1. to one. She is now 15-8. to eight. That price has definitely disappeared somewhat. But I still think she's going to be the winner. And if you want to come and join the group chat, there is a link in the description below. Then we move on to the four o'clock at Worcester. We've got a novice handicap hurdle here over two and a half miles. Again, as I said, we've got the good ground, which is going to be significant for a few of these runners. Um, of course, we've got young Merlin here who is coming in after winning his first three starts for Amy Murphy over the sticks. And again, going to have to be quite a decent animal to get the job done here. Nine to two is probably about right for his price because this bigger field may be something that he isn't quite used to just yet. But I do feel he's going to have a really good chance nonetheless. AJP Kingdom, the top of here for Fergal O'Brien's a very nice horse. And so is Ahiliers for Dan Scouten. Some really likeable types in this race. But I'm going to take a little bit of a chance here on Icarac for the Milton Harris team. Each way at 14 to 1. 
won two chases over in Otoy before coming over to join the Milton Harris team. And he's actually run two pretty nice races since joining the team as well. He was second to Hal Red. He was second to Dropmore Bay at Fontwell and over at Worcester. So he's been runner up, runner up. And I think coming here first time out this season, if he's ready to go, he could actually be particularly well handicapped. He's second here on the handicap list at 14 to one whilst being unexposed. So I think he's worth a little bit of a chance here at 14 to one. Don't get me wrong, get some decent horses, but I think Ikarak each way at 14 14 to 1 is a pretty decent punt here. And you can actually get four places with some of the bookmakers today as well. Then if we take a look at the 4.30, we've got a 2 mile 7 furlong mare's handicap hurdle here. Blue Sands definitely sets a pretty decent standard here for the Fergal O'Brien team. Coming into really good form once again, with three on the bounce and seemingly thriving at the moment. Those last three wins, though, have all come at Suddle. And the one where he was uh, she was defeated the race before was actually here at Worcester. So maybe you want to take that with a little pinch of salt. That was the first run of the season, but... She has gone on to win three nice races since then. But the one I think is open to the most improvement is going to be Harry Fry's Mabel Noir, who again won really nicely here over course and distance last time out. And I'd be very surprised if she's not bang on the premises. Again, I actually expect her to improve a little bit this time as well. The step up and trip definitely seemed to work to her benefits. She's a very nice traveller, a very easy mover as well. Not too much to go wrong with Mabel Noir if she comes in the same sort of form. She has been given a £7 rise, but the opposition doesn't seem too daunting bar perhaps blue sands marucci's got a chance here for kieran burke but i think mabel noir is the one that is open to plenty and i think she's going to take the beating up five to two i'd probably make her my nap selection of the day and then in the 505 at Worcester again, there's some nice types in here for a handicap hurdle. A two mile race here on good ground. Where I quite like Walk in the Woods for Evan Williams. A pretty nice horse by Walk in the Park. Of course, I'm a really big fan of the Walk in the Park progeny. But this one's probably going to have to bring a little bit more to the table this time out. And I fancy Emanate to continue the good form that he is in. He's uh, won twice now here over course and distance at Worcester. Again, in recent months as well. Comes back here with um, Thomas Smina, Aston claiming eight pounds. Now he did actually take that off his mount last time out as well. Um, but I do think that this one's probably still improving. Definitely hasn't shown the peak of his ability yet. Seemingly got better for the trip last time out. They have actually tried this one over a little bit further. Definitely didn't get it. He's a speedy horse. So this trip, I think, is going to be quite significant for him. He's won on the good ground here as well. And I think it's 6-1 to one. again. It's a price that we can just take a small squeak at each way in the finale. Okay, so uh, they're the five selections for today. As I said, just singles. And I will recap those for you. We've got Coconut Splash at 5-1 to one in the 2.15. We've got Flying Fortune in the 3.25. 6-1 now into 15-8. to eight. In the four o'clock, I'm going to take a chance each way on Ikarak at 14 to 1 for the Milton Harris team. In the 4.30, Mabel Noir at 5 to 2 is the nap selection for today. And then in the final race, Emanate at 6 to 1, a small each way play in the finale. So there's just my five selections for you for today's jumps action over at Worcester. I'm going to get straight back to the Ryder Cup now, but I will be out this evening again with some more selections for tomorrow's racing. So please don't forget to hit subscribe. I really do appreciate the support and everyone tuning in. So have a real good day today. One more day before we get to the weekend. Good luck with your bets and I'll see you all real 